Our next finalist is Chanel Collins, a senior from Glenville High School in Cleveland, Ohio. Hello. Hi. I think you were the earliest one here because I saw you sitting in that chair and there was no one else there. Are you always on, that early on time? No. <laughs> you thought it might help you a little bit uh, to calm down perhaps. Well, Chanel, I understand that you are senior class vice president and a member of the National Honor Society, and that you love sports, you're a cheerleader, and you're gonna to go to Clark University, is that correct? Yes. Okay. That's good. And you, my goodness, it says here, you wanna have a broadcasting career. <laughs> are, are you auditioning now? Yeah, I wanna be like you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, come and see me about a job, will you? <laughs> Let's talk most about that future in broadcasting. Uh, what do you hope most for your future? Well, I hope that I get the grand prize tonight. <laughs> Not only will it allow me to further my education, but it will also let me go to the school of my choice and major in mass media, turning my dreams into reality. Gang violence everywhere. We're killing one another, fighting over nonsense. Who's going to stop it? In July of 2011, I had no clue at all. I had no one to turn to. I realized I lost my mind, my best friend, and my brother. The feeling of hopelessness and devastation was unbearable. I felt empty inside and turned bitter. My childhood friend was gone. Not physically, but he was someone I no longer knew. Someone I talked on the phone with and hung out with on weekends was gone from my life. Can you imagine talking to a person, but he's no longer responding? This incident was killing me. Because of this, I no longer live in the moment, but through memories. But not all memories are good memories. July 19, 2011 was the worst day of my life. It keeps replaying in my head as if I recorded it. Pow, pow, pow. It's how the gunshot sounded. Except there were 15 shots, not three. There was blood all over the ground. Chu was gasping for air as if he was drowning. His eyes were rolling to the back of his head. Tears were falling from mine. I watched my 15-year-old friend get shot, leaving him brain dead and unresponsive. Chu could no longer walk, speak, or breathe on his own. The shooter destroyed him. Why? Because he walked down the street he did not reside on. After the shooting, Chu was picked on and humiliated because of the way he looked. Words like vegetable, or even a hopeless dead man filled the air. The amount of pain that built inside of me was awful. Why did you deserve this treatment? Why did it have to be him? I was not only frustrated because my friend was no longer the same person, but because I could do nothing about it. I didn't want to be next. I was scared for my life. Cleveland's crime rate is ridiculous. I should feel safe in my neighborhood. And the last thing on my mind would have been black on black crime after all we've been through. Finally, I came to my senses. 
if a change was going to occur, it would have to start with someone who was fed up. And I got to admit, I have had enough. I lost eight additional friends since the incident. And it seemed like things were only getting worse. In May of 2012, an anti-bullying organization was formed called Team Chu. This organization goes to local schools in Cleveland, informing the youth about black-on-black -black crime, also trying to come up with solutions to decrease the crime rate. I informed the youth because we are the upcoming generation and will set the tone for the future. However, this will not be my final stop. I will continue my journey on stopping black on black crime so that the next generation will not endure the same pain as me. Thank you. Little known fact about Chanel, backstage she asked for a copy of her speech. She did not need it. Because wow. she came from the heart. Yes, indeed. Makes a difference. Thank you, Chanel Collins. <clears throat>